The Oracy Five Life Keys program looks at the five main areas in our life. Health, wealth, direction in life, relationships, and love. And we go beyond understanding just the material aspect of health being the absence of illness and therefore I'm healthy. We look at how our mind and our feelings and our physical body are all connected. So the psycho-mental, emotional, and physical in the way in which all of this is linked. We then move on to understanding that wealth is not just how much money we have or physical material security, but rather having enough to feel harmony, balance, and content. Then we look at how that's connected to direction. Direction in life, am I in the right job? Have I chosen the right career or vocation? Am I happy with what I'm doing? Is it the right thing for me? Am I feeling that this is part of my calling? Am I passionate about this or not? That moves on into relationships. Relationships not only with our friends and family, but also with people we don't know and with our external environment and with life itself. Finally, we look at how those previous four steps actually impact our sense of love. If we are very attached to a personal understanding of ourself and love, then our love concept begins to be attached and diminished and limiting. And we are always living, unfortunately then, in lack. And we always look for something to replace that sense of, I don't have enough. So we look at how we can expand our awareness so that we can basically extend that into a more outwardly focused attention and awareness that is beyond the limits of our personal self. By doing this, we begin to see that love is not down to what makes us feel good or anything that makes us feel secure, safe and nurtured. We need to understand that love is a larger concept and exists beyond us and is an integral part of a universal existence. This work forms the foundation for the DAT, the Dynamic Archetypal Triangle. And that's where we bring in the aspect of lessons that need to be learned. Some cultures call this karma, others call it kismet or uh, mira, depending on the cultural background, but they know that it is something that is predestined or preordained. So we need to look at what it is that's been predestined and preordained in order to find out what it is that we need to actually achieve in this life. This forms the foundation of what I call the five karmic keys and how we utilize the dynamic archetypal triangle, which is based on a yang side to the right, a yin side to the left, and looks at very specific archetypes. The fighter mobilizing into hero, into savior, and into holy man. And on the left side, the yin side, which is the victim mobilizing into spiritual warrior, into the martyr, and finally the holy woman, and then they meet at the apex at what's called the hierophant, the revealer of the sacred. The five karmic keys help us through this dynamic archetypal triangle to interface with our subconscious self using not our intellectual understanding, but what I call the intuitive, spontaneous, creative self. By doing this, we can bypass all the blockages and the filters of the left brain and enter into the subconscious aspect of where things are stored over a ratio of one to half a million of all of our stimuli is basically stored in the subconscious self. And there we begin to understand how to access the blockages that are keeping us from living not only our true potential, but our very, very precious life force and what I would call finding your passion and living it.